Hey everyone, today's it is about... You have an argument and you get a panic attack. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You and Barkgo have been together for quite some time now. A new relationship has blossomed into something strong and passionate. As established lovers, you've experienced your fair share of ups and downs, but your love for each other has always prevailed. However, like any couple, you sometimes find yourselves caught in arguments that escalate faster than you can handle. One evening, as the sun sets and casts a warm golden hue over your shared apartment, you find yourselves engrossed in a heated debate. The topic is trivial, something that wouldn't usually lead to a full-blown argument. But tonight, the tension between you and Bakugo feels thicker than ever. You never listen, Bakugo exclaims. His voice lays with frustration. I've been trying to tell you something important, and you're acting like it doesn't matter. I do listen, Katsuki. You read art, your voice rising to match his. But you're not giving me a chance to explain myself, either. And it's not fair. The argument intensifies, fueled by a mixture of pride and stubbornness. As emotions run high, your chest tightens, and an overwhelming wave of panic begins to wash over you. Your breath becomes shallow and rapid, and you struggle to find the words to convey your inner turmoil. Stop. You manage to gasp out, your voice trembling. I can't. I can't do this right now. Bakugo, noticing the sudden shift in your demeanor, stops mid-sentence. His expression changes from anger to concern as he takes a step closer to you. Hey, hey, what's wrong? You try to form a coherent sentence, but your panic attack intensifies, making it difficult to concentrate. Tears well up in your eyes, and your hand starts shaking uncontrollably. You feel overwhelmed and trapped, unable to escape the suffocating weight pressing down on your chest. Without another word, Bakugo swiftly closes the distance between you, wrapping his strong arms around your trembling form. He pulls you into an embrace. His touch both comforting and grounding. Breathe, Juan. He murmurs. Focus on your breathing. In and out. His voice acts as an anchor, guiding you through the chaos of your own mind. You clutch onto his shirt, seeking solace in his presence. Gradually, your breath began to sing together with his, and the panic slowly subsides, leaving you exhausted, but calmer. In the aftermath of the panic attack, Bakugo remains by your side, his hands tenderly cradling your face. He wipes away the remaining tears that linger on your cheeks with his thumb. His touch gentle and soothing. His eyes are filled with a mixture of regret and determination, as if willing to protect you from any harm that may come your way. You're safe now, Ion. He murmurs, his voice barely above a whisper. I've got you. I'll always have you. His words resonate deep within you, melting away the residual, fear, and anxiety. You lean into his touch, taking solace in the warmth of his presence. The room is enveloped in a comforting silence, broken only by the sound of your soft breath as you gradually regain your composure. As the tension eases, Bakugo's embrace becomes less tight, allowing you room to breathe. He shifts his head beside you on the couch. His arms still wrap protectively around your shoulders. 
The scent of his familiar, Kalong, brings you a sense of security, grounding you in the present moment. You turn to face Bakugo, your eyes searching him for reassurance. Thank you, Katsuki. You whisper, your eyes filled with gratitude. I don't know what I would do without you. He offers you a small, understanding smile. He's done gently tracing circles on your arm. You don't have to thank me, Moyad. Taking care of each other is what partners do. Silence fills the room once again, but it is a comfortable silence. A respite from the chaos that had consumed you just moments ago. It is in these moments of vulnerability that you truly realize the strength of your bond with Bakugou. Despite your imperfections and the occasional rough patches, your love for each other remains unwavering. Slowly, you gather the strength to speak, the words escaping your lips in a hushed tone. I'm sorry for how the argument escalated, Katsuki. I didn't mean to cause you distress. Bakugo shakes his head, his grip on your shoulder tightening slightly. No, it's not your fault. I should have been more patient, more understanding. I let my anger get the best of me, and I pushed you too far. You place a hand on top of his, offering him a gentle squeeze. We both made mistakes. Let's learn from this and grow together. Katsuki, let's promise to communicate better. To be more aware of each other's emotions. Bakugo's gaze softens, a mix of gratitude and determination in his eyes. Yeah, you're right. We can do that. I'll do better, Wyatt. I promise. A smile graces your lips, a flicker of hope in your heart. I'll do my best too, Katsuki. We're in this together. From that moment on, your relationship takes on a new level of intimacy and understanding. You and Bakugo embark on a journey of growth, exploring the depths of your emotions and learning to navigate the rough patches with grace and empathy. Together, you create a safe space where vulnerability is cherished and understanding flourishes. Over time, the arguments become fewer and further between, replaced by open conversations and genuine compromise. You learn to listen to each other's perspectives with respect and to find common ground even in the midst of disagreements. Your love deepens as you build a foundation of trust, acceptance, and unwavering support. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!